Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Tully and welcome back to Batman the Telltale series. Time to start episode 4, Guardian of Gotham. Previously on Batman the Telltale series. Why did you do it? Harvey needed you. Why save me? I haven't actually seen it yet. They've had me wrapped up this whole time. <laughs> Numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. Come work for me. It won't be what you have here, but at least we can keep pace on the new bat tech. I'll go and gather what I can from the lab. You're a good man, Bruce. Please, Selena, I, I have to tell you how I... Bruce? You should... Come stay with me. I'll think about it. Dropped your pen. That's not... <sighs> I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. I'm still so upset about that. I cannot believe I didn't remember. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. That's where the music and the you black screen. face the truth sometime. Oh. Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> oh, he beat the crap out of Oswald. Look at that. Oh, he's freaking out. In Arkham Asylum? Yeah. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. <clears throat> For Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the round soon. Doctor? What doctor? Oh, we are in a bad situation here. Security camera. Bro broken wall? Looks like someone was angry. <laughs> Lovely. Why are we in a cell? Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. Oh, that would suck. You're in a bed with somebody else's blood. Jumpsuit. Arkham Asylum. This can't be happening. We are in Arkham Asylum. This can't be real. It is real. You have to wear beige all day. Let's take a look at the cell door. Can we go out? Oh, he's still drugged. He's, he's fighting it too. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. You can tell me why I'm in Arkham Asylum for a start. What? Rich boy doesn't remember? Oswald Cobblepot? You beat him to a bloody pulp. You nearly killed him. Landed you here. Any of this ringing a bell? Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. 
What's going on here? Oh, he's that kind of... Oh. As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your dead uh. to see what I do to you. I am so sick of everyone blaming me for what my father did. I'm not him. Hurting me does nothing. Maybe not. But you're the next best thing, Wayne. Why is everybody so me? Ow! Hey! Ooh! Ow! Rib face. Circle. Down. Oh, oh my gosh! That was in the throat. Why are you so mean? The welcoming committee has really gone downhill around here, hasn't it? What the? Rude, churlish, not nice. How do you like it? You are pathetic. Who the crap is that? Who? <laughs> hey, it's Joker! Buddy. Oh, buddy. Are you okay? You don't look so grand. More like the opposite. I... Thank you. I appreciate the help. Thanks, Joker. You're welcome. If we don't look out for each other, who will, right? <laughs> I remember what is him. What's going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy's tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Joker would lie about it. Go on, tell her. Uh... I don't really know what happened. This is all a blur. It seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. We'll need to keep an eye on that. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> okay, thank oh, you, doctor. These guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Let's be understanding. Thank you. She seems nice. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. <laughs> I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. Joan Leland? We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. Is that? that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. Is her name important sorry, in the Batman universe? Your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? You just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Joker's in here. I love Joker in this universe. Forgot about him, but he's awesome. John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. Right. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> Y'all gotta say so creepily. Be best if you stayed by his side There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! What do you mean? The lighting in this place is horrible. Our last session was so enlightening. Well, that's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. Let's. Oh, let go. You ain't gonna taste me. You gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. Oh, lag. Arkham Asylum really needs better lighting. You let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? 
How could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well, <laughs> betting. Hey! Rude. No, no, you, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill you me. You don't know the president. Oh. <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number, dumbass. Wrong. Bad John. I'll come by to check on you. I mean, too. Joker. <laughs> Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. Just take another one. Take good care of him. <laughs> I like Joker's face. I like the way he smiles at me. Episode 4. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Thank you, Joker. Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. You don't say. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. Guardian of Gotham. I Batman Joker. Around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. Is that Zaz on the it's left? a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. Thanks for the heads up. I appreciate you showing me around like this. I'm a giver. <laughs> what can I say? I always try to keep an eye out for new guys. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never miss oh, I love that show. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Hey. Why you gotta be mean? The remote. But my favorite part's coming up. It. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leela. She likes me. Ooh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? Uh, Joker? Why did he give me a key? Is it for the cabinet? Cabinet? Not the right key for this. Uh... Nurses station. Hey, uh, I was wondering about. It's not lunch yet. <sighs> well, Laura, well, actually, I it's wasn't. It's not I... time for meds either. Beat it. Well, all right then. Thanks for the help, Beretta. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Cookie. I want to cause a scene. Crumbs. That's it. <laughs> cookie crumbs. Yes, I cracked it. Every time he cheats. What? She's what I'm thinking. Mind control. Cheater. I told you, if I could read minds, I certainly wouldn't waste that my is time Zaz. on yours. He's got all the scars. I solved the cookie riddle, not you. Sorry. I'll talk to him. It's just, it's just, it's just. Bruce Wayne, you've got quite a reputation around. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. Uh. Guy I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah? Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic, unpredictable. Yep, that's Speaking Joker. As a, as a professional, I find his work a bit sloppy, but he's certainly enthusiastic. I'll give him that much. <laughs> hey there, buddy boy. You missed me. I missed you. <laughs> However, the threat remains. Oh, it's Harvey. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe. And firmly under my control. That mask is stupid. Good on, is there? Oh, 
Why is Bruce walking like that? It didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> That's, That's I should have known. That was a bullcrap joke. My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local sky train depot. Uh politicians. I thought I did that. Bore me to tears. But this one this one has become a lot more interesting lately. You mean because of this face? Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. <laughs> Double Two Faced. Oh, Two Faced, he said it. Mayor with friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. You didn't betray me. Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. You're talking about Slim you, aren't you? Pickens around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. <laughs> Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. What are you Tragically, talking about? There's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicky Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? How does he know? Got your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? I guess everybody Publicly in Arkham would know. Dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. I'm not doing anything for you. You got that? Oh, wait. That's unfortunate. It really I didn't mean is. to press that. <laughs> I was looking forward to it for a moment there. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce, and I can tell there's something darker in you. What, 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 when you what are you talking Oswald, about? I could tell you enjoyed it. <laughs> I was drugged. I like the how and dragged you off of him. That cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. It was just pumped full of her drugs. Those just. Amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. But be Bruce is capable of holding back. Blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. I like how Joker is just automatically drawn to Bruce. Dad, help bump off her parents. Why would my father have the veils killed? I never said he killed the veils. She was born in Arkham, Victoria. Arkham. What? You did it. Wait, know what? That? The Arkhams did not approve of <coughs> what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Great. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. More bad news about our parents. Surely you can relate. So they've completely rewritten Vicky's drive story some pretty in the Telltale universe. Stuff. I'm not like her. I don't need vengeance. Really? Sounds to me like you've got more in common than you're willing to admit, Bruce. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. 
And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not going to do anything while you're stuck in here. Then help me get out. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I uh, assume I can take care of that. <laughs> He's got a sock but on his head. It's gonna come at a price. Wait, is that when the ventriloquist? I get here, you're gonna owe me a favor, okay? Just one. Um. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? Okay. Sure. One favor, it seems fair. Well, I said no, Excellent. but I want to keep seeing Joker. We'll have loads of fun. You'll see. Oh, right gosh. <laughs> so creepy. To get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Deal. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Oh, no, he's not gonna. Ah! No. no! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! Oh, that's gonna mess you him can up. fix that right now. Skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Oh crap! Run, Brucey, run! <laughs> Stop the fighting, use the phone. <laughs> um. <laughs> Joker's laugh in the background. Stop the fighting. That's what Batman would do. X. Down. Square. No, no, I need it. I need it. Damn it, Seth. Stop. Stop. No, no, no. Zaz is freaking out. Wait. What just happened? Pretty grisly scene in there. Did I get cut? Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. Yeah. And according to John, it sounds like you were right in the middle of it. I tried to help, but wasn't involved. John started it. I don't want to blame Joker. I tried to stop it. The, the whole thing was the sick game. You would understand if you were there. I was going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. I was mean to Joker in my initial playthrough. I want to try to be nice to him. One moment. Because I, I don't know what's going to happen. Dr. Leland, Wayne's being discharged. Superintendent says he's a liability. Having him here creates an unsafe environment. His butler's here to collect him. Alfred! Seems you have a visitor. Alfred. Ah, oh, Bruce. Thank heavens Again. you're all right. You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. <laughs> I think I'll get a second opinion. Yeah. I'm sure you can afford the one you like. Oh, Let's go. dang. She just roasted the crap out of you. Hey, don't give me that look. Bye, Joker. Ask the fails. Ask her parents. Uh, What's that about? <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Joker. Oh man, that was awesome. I just I love Joker. Believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. I know Alfred. I but can't believe it either. She was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. 
It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. I don't care about public opinion. And neither should you, Al. Uh, I wish I could agree with you. But the more people call out for you to receive justice, the harder your other job could become. That's true. Hey, Harvey. How Hello, you doing, friend? Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. They're only dangerous because you made them dangerous. Armed guards on every street corner? It's insane, Harvey. I beg to differ. With the children of Arkham sneaking around everywhere, those armed guards are the only thing keeping people safe. That's Two-Face talking. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened. That Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Let's try and reach old Harvey. Yourself? You sound insane. No. Well, that was not a nice a way to put it. Done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. That isn't how I wanted things to go down either, Harvey. And I'm really sorry they did, but that is no excuse for this ridiculous crusade against me. I don't need an excuse. You're a criminal, and I'm coming for you. Come on, man. After all we've been through, episode one, episode two. Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. <sighs> oh, great. Now, now these guys are going to talk to us. What's going on here? Hey, you guys look smug. What do you want? <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. You don't have a right. Anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. Go ahead. I have nothing to hide. Doesn't sound like it. Besides, everyone's hiding something. Not in my trunk. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Oh, great. Get back to your car. Of course. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac. Hey, oh. why are you so Careful, mean? Or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. I am tired, I am hungry, I haven't showered in three days. I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to oh God, my I gosh. Car, run you over, and then back up again, just to make sure it did the job. Bruce. Shut up, Alfred, I can handle this. I'm sorry. You just heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me. Yeah, I filmed the whole thing. They should lock you up. Oh, God, I... Alfred, I'm sorry. Bruce is I, having. He'll be fine. He's got a bat. Just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag. Next one won't be a warning shot. All right. Now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well funded, hmm? And well armed. What do you say? <sighs> They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Back up! Back up, people! Bruce, 
Floor it. This isn't the Batmobile. Just do it, Alfred. Floor it. Hey. Alfred really just said this isn't the Batmobile in public. Glad to hear you're out of Arkham. See you when you get back. Wait, is Selena out of our place? Got some new stuff we need to talk about. Oh my gosh. What just hap- Oh, nice face. We're gonna have to end this episode here. <laughs> Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, give this video a like, share it, subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you all have a blessed rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Love you all. Peace!